in in the state senate. Did did it bother you that you didn't fit in? Mm, yeah. It did. It. Uh, I think it'd be it. I mean, we're born to conform. If you don't, you get uh, fed pills and locked up with strange people. <laughs> and if you, you do, did. you spend your time with strange people too, but you're not locked up. You're not locked up. Come, <laughs> come to think of it, being in the legislature, I was locked up with strange people at times. <laughs> that, well, that's what I was thinking, that the state senate, from, from the outside looking in, it looks like a pretty dysfunctional group of folks down there. It does, because... And, and, one night it was late and the budget was up for debate and for some reason they were letting me uh, preside. I may have been one of the only ones qualified by that time of the night. But anyway, we had a freshman senator from North West Alabama who found out that something he wanted in the budget wasn't in it. He got up the microphone and started just, just raising all kind of King. I mean, it was uh, like he, he was felt like if he uh, talked loud enough and long enough, he could get what he wanted. And finally, uh, I, I suggested that he calm down and take some deep, deep breaths and sort of relax <laughs> and not be so excited because uh, if he didn't know it already, the stuff that we did out there in front of everybody was like wrestling. It wasn't real. The real things that happened at the uh, in the, the nightclubs, bars, and uh, uh, drinking coffee the morning before uh, the morning of the committee meetings, and that uh, he shouldn't get upset and think that he had been treated any differently than every other freshman senator that had come along. And uh, Ted Bryant, who's now deceased, did a nice little article about me saying it wasn't real, it's like wrestling. That's what it looks like from, from the perspective of somebody that's on the outside yeah, or watching some, it. it. Or does kabuki, the, something. Mm -hmm, the, the official Absolutely. things just don't make any sense, the things they do. You, there has to be other stuff going on that the public cannot see. Oh. Uh, first committee out meeting I went to in the Senate was a uh, transportation utilities and something meeting. I, uh, I, I, they don't even have a committee by that name, I don't think anymore. And so we had a meeting, the chairman presiding, he said, uh, we're just meeting to sort of set the uh, criteria of how this committee will operate. He said, uh, each week we will have uh, an agenda with the bills on it that we're going to take up for that meeting and nothing will be taken up unless it's on that uh, agenda. Uh, senators on the committee will get a priority insofar as getting bills on that agenda and uh, basically went through some more stuff about how we're going to operate and he said is there any questions? And, Senator uh, held up his hand and he said, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, since we're, uh, you know, uh, we got this meeting and uh, Senate Bill 481 was before this committee a year ago, of course it was with different committee members, and it passed unanimously. Is, uh, can I bring that bill up and, and, uh, and uh, see if anybody's opposed to it? So I don't see why not. Well, we'll take up Senate Bill 481. All in favor say aye, those opposed say nay. And you know, a bunch of people say aye, nobody says no. And then another senator holds up his hand and says something similar and they vote. And I'm sitting here thinking, how did they read these bills? Then I thought, wait a minute, there had to be a meeting before this meeting because the criteria that was laid out for the meeting, we immediately violated it. So I didn't say a word. And when the meeting was over with, I went to the chairman and I said, 
Look, I don't know where y'all met before you came in here or when it was, but the next time y'all meet, I want to be at that meeting. I don't care that much about this one, but I would like to <laughs> oh, know. That would be the important meeting. Yeah, the important meeting. So, uh, you know, I did make a, a honest effort to conform, but uh, I reckon, I don't know, uh, they just didn't accept me. I was left off of every committee at one point in time I was in the Senate. And during that period of time, I read the rules of the Senate and knew them from back to fr front. Another thing that I did that I guarantee you, no other judge in the state of Alabama can say this. I actually read the Constitution. So when I swear to uphold the Constitution, I know what it says. Now, I'm not making a wild claim that I read all those amendments because mm -hmm. I didn't. And if I did that, I ought to be locked up with strange people because you'd go absolutely crazy if you did that. But uh, I would like to discuss or debate or whatever the correct terminology is, the Constitution with anybody running for the Supreme Court. And uh, I'll lay down the challenge. I bet I know more about it than my opponent does. 